In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up some web space for free using something called gspace. Now to use this you're going to have to have Mozilla's Firefox installed. So just go to mozilla.com and download and install Firefox if you don't have it. Now from here it's very easy. What you're going to do is go and find the gspace add-on and I've included a link to that in the resources document. Now it's really simple to install these add-ons. All you got to do is click the Add to Firefox button that you see in front of you here. Just click Add to Firefox. Okay, and then if you get a message like this up here, just tell it to allow. Okay, and then from here, we just click Install Now. And then we have to restart Firefox. So we restart Firefox, your browser will go away and then it will come back up again. So I'm going to push this now. Okay, and it disappeared and came back. And now when I go and look at my add-ons, so if you go up to Tools and Add-ons, you can see all the add-ons you have in here. Okay, and here we see that we have Gmail Space. Okay, so it's all ready to go. Now let's have a look at how to use it. Let's close this. Okay, now if we go to Tools, and then we'll go to GSpace. Okay, it'll load up here. On the left side, you have My Computer. On the right side, you have My GSpace. Now, of course, you're going to have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have one, you're going to have to sign up and get one now. So to do that, just go to Google.com. Well, let me show you here. Go over to Google. Okay, and then just click on Gmail. And then you can create an account from here. Just down here, click Create an Account. And then you'll have a Gmail account that you can use with GSpace. Okay, so first thing you're going to have to do when you come in here is manage your account. So if you just created it, you can put your Google account in here. Otherwise, if you already have one, just add your Google account in here. Okay, so I added my account. And of course, you can just keep adding as many as you want here if you have multiple accounts. Okay, now you'll see that we have our account showing here that we just set up. And if you have multiple accounts, there's a drop down list. So all you got to do now is click login, and then you can put your password in here. Now, if you click the save password button, let's go back here. You save, if you click the save password button over here, remember password, then it will be able to skip that step every time because you've told it to remember it. But in this case, I didn't do that. So we'll do login. I'll key in my password. Okay, and now it's logging us in. retrieving the files. Okay, and I have nothing in there. Okay, now on this side, this is your computer. So what you can do here is you can just navigate as you normally would. So we can click browse and then a little window comes up and then we can go from here to wherever it is we want to go. So say we want to go to public pictures and then we can pick something out of here. Okay, and then here are the files in the folder. So what we can do now is just pick the files we want. Hold down the control key to pick multiples and just do that. Click the arrow key and this is how you move things back and forth. So you can move them from one side to the other just like that. You can see the queue down here and as it processes them and moves them across. Okay, as you can see, these files are now uploaded. Now, you can also do stuff within here if you can make new folders. Okay, just right click here and we can do a create directory and then we can create multiple directories within here to store our files. So we could say docs for instance or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You want to store some documents in there. You might want to create a folder called docs and then you can double click there and you can upload your docs in there. 
And then you can navigate, of course, back and forth just by using this. This is pretty standard symbols. You should recognize those. Okay, here's your delete. That'll delete it for you. Over here, you can refresh to see if any changes are in there. And then this is your create directory, which I did as a right click as well. You can do it either way. Okay, so that shows you how you can use GSpace and your Gmail account to create some additional free web space.